you uh, have focused a lot on progressive domestic policy. You also voted for a military budget increase in 2017. How does that square with your progressive politics when we're talking about foreign policy? If the question is, do I think we should cut the military budget, the answer is yes. And I'm now on the Senate Armed Services Committee. I've had this fight over and over. But there's another part to it, too. We need to stop the control over our defense budget that's exercised by the giant defense industry. Um, as you know, we now have a Secretary of Defense who spent seven years as head lobbyist for Raytheon. Um, I asked for some simple conflict of interest rules that he would abide by. For example, not to make decisions that involve Raytheon and Raytheon's bottom line. And he refused. Um, the Republicans confirmed him anyway. But this is what corruption is all about. Putting lobbyists in charge of our government agencies, a lobbyist, former lobbyist in charge of the Environmental Protection Agency. This is the heart of corruption. And the moment has come to call it out and to fight back. That's what being in this room was all about. So that was Elizabeth Warren not answering a question on why she voted for our bloated military budget. Instead, she responded by saying that if your question is, do I support cutting our military budget, then my answer is yes, before going on to explain the corruption that goes on in Washington in regards to the military industrial complex. But the thing is that that wasn't the question. Rather, the question called for Elizabeth Warren to explain why she voted for our bloated military budget. Now, if you didn't already know, most of our taxpayer money is going towards committing atrocities overseas, and yet we hardly ever talk about it. Did you know that we spend by far more money on our military than every other country on earth? And as aforementioned, we don't use this money to help people. We use this money to bomb people, go to war, and make people's lives worse. So much so that the world considers us to be the biggest threat to world peace in the world. And unfortunately, the world is right. I mean, if what we are doing isn't terrorism, I don't know what is. We are causing terror for so many people, and it just isn't right. In fact, what we are doing is completely immoral. We shouldn't be bombing people, we shouldn't be going to war, and we shouldn't be taking the lives of people overseas. I mean, we should not be taking the lives of anybody, period. All lives matter. And yes, that includes the lives of people overseas. So look, Elizabeth Warren here said that she wants to cut our military spending, and yet, she voted for our bloated military budget. Her actions don't match her words, and that's really problematic. And voting to increase our bloated military budget is a really problematic vote. We should not be spending most of our money on the military, bombing people, going to war, and making people's lives worse. And honestly, this vote shouldn't have been a hard vote to make. It should have been a no-brainer. But Elizabeth Warren voted for Trump's bloated military budget, and it was the wrong vote to make. 